five minutes early. Good. I like to arrive a little ahead of schedule. It gives me a chance to relax, take in the surroundings, and look for possible exits. Some of the many things I've learned from going on all these blind dates. And there have been many. There was Kristen with her hairy back. <gasps> Tabitha was several cats too many. And Sabrina with her clown fetish. And the list goes on. But no matter. For tonight, tonight will be different. I'm so tired of searching. No matter what her fault, I'll see through them all. And she will be the one. <gasps> oh my. She has the legs of a Greek goddess. Her curvaceous hips, those... Oh, wow. <laughs> her golden hair and those blue eyes. Is that a mustache? A mustache? A mustache? No, no, how could this be? She was supposed to be perfect. She was the... I mean, that's okay. She, she has a mustache. It's not worth running out on true love over, right? <laughs> I begin to engage in conversation, hoping to distract myself from her bastardly bristles. But all I can hear when she speaks is... Mustache, mustache, mustache. Mustache, mustache, mustache. And even in her silence, those mucousy fibers dance in her nasally wind, softly calling to me. Mustache. 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 I could bear no more and turn away, hoping that when I opened my eyes, the mustache would be gone. But with every attempt, the mustache just grew longer and thicker. Until... Until it seemed to be coming alive. Dear God, how could this be possible? Could anyone else see this? I look around for confirming eyes, but I'm met with blank stares. Could it be? Could it be that I was going mad? Going mad. I go to make my leave, but I'm trapped. Every exit blocked. There's no escape anywhere. I go to warn the others, but it's too late. Everywhere I turn a mustache. Everyone, everywhere, mustache is rising against me. It's all a plot, I say. A trick. A trick that I am the victim of. A victim of just wanting love. Um, is your food okay? <laughs> Is this what I deserve after all I've been through? After Sally with her webbed feet, Molly with her many moles, Gina with a goiter and a mustache, Felicia with a conjoined twin, Lucy with her lazy eyes, Flora with a foot fungus and a mustache, Tammy who was always texting Sandy with her sweaty thighs, Rebecca with her rancid farts, and Maria who had a penis and a mustache, a mustache, a mustache. And then, nothing but darkness. But at least I was free of that mustache. Alone for eternity. Or maybe not. I am alive. I'm alive. I'm... Oh, God. <laughs> That's it. I was through. I couldn't take it anymore, and I finally told her in my outside voice. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I can't do this. And that's when I heard... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but you have a little girl's voice. It's cute. She's right. I did have a little girl's voice, and it's only now that I realize that all this time looking for something perfect, I should have been looking for something perfectly different. Hi. <laughs> and so, our love blossomed, and she became the one, and we had six children, all with mustaches, but we're trying for a seventh.